Hey guys, welcome to a new video of the Bankroll Challenge. Um, we're starting today out at about $82. And we are going to play some Pot Limit Omaha again today. But we are likely to end up playing Hold'em as well, since it looks like the uh, action at the Pot Limit Omaha tables is not as amazing today as it was yesterday. Um, we've got two tables going right now, as per usual. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can uh, make back some of the money we got very unlucky to lose at the end of the session yesterday. It was actually looking like we were going to book a win, and then in the very last hand, we uh, kind of got wrecked. Uh, so yeah, if you have interest in seeing me get destroyed in the last hand of a session, check out my uh, previous video. And uh, yeah, you can see me go through some pain. Because it was tough, let me tell you. Not a good time. Yeah, we're going to get a hold'em table going down here. Hit this one. And we are in. Got our customary three tables going. It's a little bit, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say it's questionable. But it's uh, not super normal to play two different games at once. But I'm pretty sure we can handle it. We've been doing this for a while, so uh, I think we'll be okay. So like I said, we started the day off at about $82, which is pretty unfortunate given that we uh, definitely had a chance to have a big winning session the last time uh, we played. But uh, that's okay. You'll have that occasionally. We're going to go ahead and see if we can limp and see a flop. We do have a <clears throat> suited ace, so that's the wrong suit though. We do flop a gut shot to the nuts. on making notes. I think we will actually peel here, which means call um, a bet to see one more card. That is not a card that we like very much, even though we do hit a pair. Uh, it just doesn't do too much for us. So it's good news that he checks and we get to see a free card, which is not helping us. So now we have kings and threes with an ace kicker which is not a very good hand. Um, against Vow, who's a regular, I think we can, I think we're gonna defend our big blind here. Um, check with our bad queens. Check again. We're gonna be checking our entire range here, so I think that's half the pot. I think we're actually gonna check raise here. And see what he has to say about that, because that favor actually favor that flop favors our range much more than his range, or maybe not much more, but like definitely more. I and mean, we take it down. Yeah, he's gonna be bluffing in that spot a lot. So go ahead and take it down. There's definitely more bluffing that goes on in uh, Texas Hold'em and less a little less bluffing that goes in in Pot Limit Omaha. I would say hands are much more likely to go to showdown. Wow, he had the wait. What did he have? I'm not sure. I wish that uh, Global Poker had a slightly better replay device, so you could, so we could go back and look at the hands more easily. But I'm sure they will eventually. Um, sure, they've got a lot on their plate. I'm not really worried about. I was gonna try to like maybe mess with some. Uh, look and see if there's more pot limit Omaha to be had. So yeah, we're gonna try to. Uh, play for at least like 30 minutes or so, hopefully make a little bit of money, get this video out to you folks, and uh, yeah, then maybe come back later for a stream or just make another video and upload it tomorrow of the uh, nightly $500 bonanza, which would be something that would be super, 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 super nice to make a run in. So we will see if we can make that dream reality. Kind of surprised to see so many uh, unknown players at the uh, hold'em table. It's a good sign, though. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Pre-flop with Ace Four suited. See a whole bunch of folds, which is fine. Queen Ten, not gonna do it. Um, if this was uh, suited or double suited, we'd probably 
want to play it, but since it is not in any way suited, we are going to let it go. It might be a little bit tight, but uh, we're definitely letting it go and not feeling bad about it. That one's not going to quite cut it. I'm just going to keep on putting notes on everyone so we can keep track of these players a little bit. A7 offsuit in the big blind. Oh, something went down over here. Had ace king against aces, and ace king got there. Hmm. That's how Vow has like no chips. Um, I think against all these limps, we we're gonna go ahead and raise it up. Um, if this was a double suited hand, we'd play it, but since it's not, I don't think we're. I don't think it's worth playing. And yeah, that's why you raise over limpers. Raising over limpers is good. And that's why you will basically never see me limp, and uh, definitely not ever see me limp in Texas Hold'em, and will even rarely see me rimp in Pot Limit Omaha. That guy just goes all in for a dollar. <laughs> don't understand these short stackers. Also don't understand why Vow is playing a 31 cent stack. Okay, there we go, he topped up. He's clearly like a regular, like somebody that plays a lot. Um, I don't know that he's good. Let's see what our note on him even says anymore. Playing more than one table, limp fold to the cutoff and seems like a bad rag. Okay, well we do have him noted as a bad rag, but um, as you can see, he's limping a decent amount. We actually meant to make it uh, 16 cents there, but I think this will be fine. We see an all heart flop, which is something we do not like. And we flop an over pair down here. I think on a paired board, Mm. We do have a diamond, so I guess we could say we're going to bet when we have a diamond and check when we don't, maybe? I don't know. We turn a straight over here, which is pretty... seems nice, um, except for we don't have any flush blockers. So we're going to look to maybe check call once, but we're not very excited about this. Um, we have a pair of jacks. I think we're just gonna let it go. There aren't a whole lot of good uh, turn cards for us. Call there. We're not playing the three, three, ten, and six. We're getting some very disjointed uh, pot limit Omaha hands. Um, so by no stretch of the imagination do we have the nuts, and even by an even smaller stretch of the imagination do we have the nuts now. So if there's any betting, even if it's a four cent bet, even some min bet, we will be folding up and we're out of there. Our straight is definitely no good. Yeah, having three fours in our hand is terrible because we block ourselves from getting one of those fours and having three of a kind, so I'm going to be playing that one. We are going to try to come along with our double-suited Jack-855. Five five. Even though it's not a very good hand, uh, we're okay with trying to see a flop with it for uh, super cheap, and we successfully do, and we f have a very reasonable flop. Um, we flop an open-ended straight draw and a flush draw, so we're going to go ahead and bet it. There we go. There's a bet. Having all clubs in this hand is really, really bad because it makes it harder for you to get a flush. Um, we get one collar on our bet up here. Two collars on our bet over here. Pretty terrible turn card because now it, uh, if anybody has three of a kind or if somebody had seven six or queen seven or whatever, now they have a str they, now they have a full house. And yeah, now we're out of there. That was a pretty disappointing result after a very good flop. But we would have whiffed everything, so we just end up with a pair of fives at the end, and that's why we folded. And because we were very, we could very likely, yeah, he's, I mean, very likely to have a boat, and he had queen seven, he's got full house. Yep. So, good job avoiding that by us. We're going to check our action. Ooh, this is a pretty good hand. We're going to be raising it here. Uh, we're folding here. And checking here. So let's see, we got one caller. Now we have to play this hand out of position, which meaning we're not the last to act. Not a very good flop for us, but he limped, so we're gonna go ahead and keep on betting. Um, turn card doesn't really change anything. If Vow checks again, we're gonna think about it. Okay, our bet took it down up here. That's a great result for us after such a bad flop. And Vow significantly overbets, so we're just gonna get out of there. I don't think he's going to be over betty, over bet bluffing. Um, I guess we'll limp and see if we can see a flop. 
And we do get to see that flop, which we completely miss. So let's see, we've got a raise and a call. We're gonna go ahead and get out of there. If it was suited, maybe, but not unsuited, so. And we have no regrets, so. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work either. We don't have any hands at the moment, which is kind of boring, but looks like there is something of a pot brewing over here. Val is looking to get it in today, it would appear. And we got a one dollar bet on the oh, and a call. King Queen against Aces. Wow, okay, well that's actually fairly standard. Um got a pretty decent hand up here. It kind of sucks that it's uh we got three clubs, but we do have aces and some other big cards, so we are looking to play a big one, and it looks like we're going to get to play a big one. Um, let's see an ace out here, huh? That makes us feel pretty good. I don't know what he's waiting on, unless he's going to raise. i just call him king queen. Okay, so we have a nut flush draw, or a nut straight draw. We have a backdoor flush draw. And we have a uh, very reasonable uh, overpair. So I think we're going to bet pretty decent size. Okay, get one collar. I don't expect to get a whole bunch of collars, but you never know. Okay, we get one collar. We hit the nuts on the turn, which makes us very happy. We now have the best possible hand. We have a straight ace, king, queen, jack, ten. Um, we hope that he has like jack nine somehow and has the lower end of the straight. Or set. Okay, he, him betting 12 cents there is really, really weird. So we're just going to go ahead and rip it and see what he has to say. Hopefully he doesn't have the same hand as us. That would be pretty unfortunate. And he folds. Maybe we played that bad. I'm not sure if we should try to like slow play that more. I generally don't do a whole ton of slow playing in Pot Limit Omaha. Maybe I need to be doing more of that. But I just have a tendency to see, uh, what's the right word, is to kind of be seeing monsters hiding everywhere. But I feel like that's not the most unreasonable outlook to have in Pot Limit Omaha. So him betting 12 cents there was just like so weird. I didn't really know what to do exactly. OK, so we flop top pair and a flush draw. But it's not the greatest flush draw ever. So I'm not that excited about it, but we are going to bet out. Don't flop much over here. We get one caller from the guy that we played last hand. Now we have top two pair. So we're pretty happy with our holding right now. Still no straights available. And we see a very innocuous four of diamonds in the river. So the flush bricks out. I think we're going to bet like half pot and just see what he does. And he folds and we take it down. All right, that works. So we're, we're up a little bit over here. That's nice. That's nice. We like that. We defended our big blind with 10-7 uh, of diamonds and did not get any help. So That was a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so if we're seeing a limp there, we are going to uh, raise it up. Have a middling hand over here. We'll definitely be looking to at least see a flop. We might actually raise over one, two limpers. Mm, I don't think we raise over two, even over two limpers, because we don't have. That's a very reasonable flop for our hand. Oh, we flop top pair in the second nut flush. Um. I think we're going to go ahead and just like bet it. Um, Vow is just limping and limping. I don't know why he loves limping so much. Okay, not our favorite flop here, not our favorite turn card here. Um, we're out of position, so we're going to check. Um, we're just going to fold that trash hand. I'm going to check again. 16 cents, we're definitely going nowhere with the card we want to see is the Ace of Spades on the river. That is not the Ace of Spades, but that gives us a set. So now we really don't know what to do. We're probably just going to check call and pray for the best. Someone could have a straight fairly easily.
32 cents. Well, we're not folding for 32 cents. We do have three of a kind. He could have a straight. He could have backed into a straight somehow, but we're not folding three of a kind. And there's the straight. That's pretty depressing. Oh, especially if we get the flush, we stack him. Damn, that sucks. We'll go ahead and three bet vows, min raise. Let's see where this goes. Um, if we get four bet, we are probably folding. And he just folds. Pretty lame sauce to lose that hand up here. Definitely had the potential to be a uh, big winning hand. But that's okay. That happens. So we kind of flop it over here. Well, we flop all kinds of interesting stuff. Lots and lots of straight draws. We do have a pair. We do have top pair, actually. We were just working on a video for Upswing Poker about uh, playing multi-way pots, which is really important here in the micros because you're going to be playing tons of multi-way pots. And while it was mostly, or while it was focused on uh, Texas Hold'em, I feel like we should probably be playing tighter than we are in multi-way pots in Potlum Omaha as well. Pretty good hand over here with the Ace, King, Queen, Eight. Getting out of the way with that one, not playing that one, and we are going to go ahead and pot it over here with ace, king, queen, eight. Pot is the uh, largest increment you can bet in pot limit Omaha. It's kind of it's a fairly standard size to bet preflop. See if we can. We don't really hit the flop in any way. We have a flush blocker. I think we're gonna bet. Not sure if I love this bet or not. I think it takes it down sometimes. Um, we do have a spade blocker, so yeah, hopefully we can bet like a dollar here and take it down. I'll be very sad if he calls here. Okay, I'm very sad. It's a non-spade though. If he checks, we're gonna. I guess we have to continue ripping it. I guess if he's a set here, he just calls all the time. Hey, so he was just praying for a spade. All right, cool. Seems to... Making some wild accusations after one hand that we don't even see a showdown on, but we're doing it anyway. Two chase flushes in PLO. We got a little note on Quack Quack. I feel like we've seen him play before, actually. I could be wrong about that. Ace, Queen, 7, 6, <clears throat> double suited. Seems like a pretty reasonable holding. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and raise it up. <gasps> Excuse me. Got some hiccups going. So we flop a nut flush draw. Pretty reasonable flop for us. We're going to go ahead and lead out. See a snap fold and a pretty quick call. We add a straight draw to the mix, and we're not going to stop betting now. We could call the club, please. Well, that's not a good card at all. I think we're going to go for it one last time. Oops. And hope that he was on a, he was on a flush draw, too. It seems like people are more than willing to chase flush draws in Pot Limit Omaha. Flush, draw, chaser, and PLO, question mark. Which is actually really sad that we didn't hit our flush draw there, because we had a nut flush, and if he hit a flush, he was clearly going broke. We're going to go ahead and limp along with this uh, queen jack 10 deuce. It's a pretty middling hand, but we uh, wouldn't mind seeing a flop with it, I guess. And every flop we see gets us a little bit closer to our uh, minimum 50... Uh, flop scene goal, which gets us uh, the ability to register for the $500 nightly bonanza on yield global poker. We see eight on the turn, and we have completely lost interest in this hand. The only thing that could even get us, yeah, we're going to fold for four cents. We would have to see a two, maybe, could get us to like do something, maybe, probably not. But yeah, that's not going not gonna to do it.
Deuce King for six isn't gonna cut it. Yeah, we don't have any hands going. I think we are, uh, we might be profitable on the day. I think we should be since we're up to over eight dollars over here. So it would be nice to book a winning session. We have had very few winning sessions so far. I think we need to get some uh, music going on the next video. I need to look into uh, how to do that and how to do it without getting in trouble. Because uh, I think having some some music in the background would make uh, just me talking a little bit more enjoyable for everyone. Because, uh, yeah, just the sound of my melodious voice probably isn't enough to keep everybody uh, glued to their seats with their eyelids open. Yeah, 16 cents is going to get us out of that hand. Looks like there is a little pot brew in there. We've not seen much action at this hold'em table at all. We have been folding a lot. Ooh, ace is cracked down here. 7733. Three. So hands like this would seem good because you have two different chances to flop three of a kind, but they're actually not that great. Okay, we're going to go ahead and raise over Vow again because we're having a lot of fun doing that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to gonna fold it. This is a very reasonable hand up here. Um, we get three bet by Charlie001, and we're going to let our raggedy little hand go. Go ahead and raise it up like we were talking about with this very reasonable hand. And see one collar. We flop all the colors that we wanted to flop. And so we're going to go ahead and bet out and get raised very quickly and become, now we are confused. We're gonna call and we're going to hate that turn card. We're gonna check and expect to see a large wager and we're just gonna let it go. And with the nut flush draw, maybe we could uh, play it. Ooh, this is another very good hand. We are very sad that that one went so badly so quickly, but it happens. Could always be worse. Which is a saying that I hate, just for the record, but I don't think it's a very good way to look at life. But you know. So we're going to be calling over here. Obviously folding down here. We have not been getting very many good hold'em hands. And yeah, we're going to just try to... Uh, Bang off something good. That is, we got we only got one good card. He just snap checks. It's very interesting. Well, that's not a good card either. Now we really can't hit anything good. And yeah, he bets half the pot. I don't know, I guess we could try to rep a three, but I think he would just call regardless, so that's unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Sometimes you miss the flops. And you just lose. So the flush gets there on the turn. We actually have a big hand down here. I think it's going to be hard for us to get very much money in, given how nitty this table has been, but we're going to try. And he ships it on the river after the flush comes in, and we're going to fold over here. Interesting. Ooh, Val raises us. We're going to go ahead and raise it back. See what he has to say about that. Hopefully we didn't get aces against kings. Okay, well, it's going in now. Big hand. He has pocket aces. We got kings versus aces. That's really sad. King! <sighs> Nothing we can do about that one, guys. Not going to be folding pocket kings pre-flop. Playing two cent, four cent. That's pretty, pretty, pretty troll. Mm. Pretty freaking troll. Yeah, this hold'em table has been nothing but a pain in the ass so far. Pretty disappointing. Maybe we need to be getting into tournaments more, even if we don't really have the bankroll for it. Because uh, this has been just a great big yikes. Ace, queen, nine, two. Not going to be playing that one. Yeah, and now we went from up on the day and looking like we could be way up on the day to stock city. 
not not the result we were hoping for. Getting kings against aces, just nothing you can do about it. Theoretically, those spots should all even out. You should get kings. You should get aces against kings just as often as you get kings against aces. So, it just never seems to actually be that way. And this idiot just fucking sitting here limping. Ugh. And he gets the he gets the aces, not the kings. Life's not fair, guys. Life is not fair. He's just going to lose it all back, slowly but surely. Limp call fold. My name is Val. I'm an idiot. Hmm, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Kind of sit and goes or running anything. Not really. Hyperturbo six max about to fire off. I guess we get rid of this hold'em table. I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna try and play a hypermax or hyper turbo. Oh no. Okay, so we got in. So I'm going to explain how this works here in a second. And we raise up our aces. Raise it up right there and fold here. Okay, so this is a tournament. It's a hyper turbo tournament. So it goes real fast, as the name would obviously signify. Um, so we get a billion callers up here. Um, not the absolute worst flaw for our hand. Flop top pair down here. So these are tournament chips. These aren't actual dollars, like on the other tables. Um, there's six people in the t in the tournament. You can see all of them right here. We're actually gonna be all in the first hand. Uh, we flop top pair of the backdoor flush draw. So there's no way we can fold. Um, the goal here is to get first place or second place. Wow. What? Oh, okay. We got them. We almost got very unlucky there. Okay. So now we're up to a thousand chips. And we start with 500. So that's very good. Um, the goal here is to win all the chips of everybody at the table. If you get first place or second place, you uh, win money. I can't remember. We'll look at the payouts here in just a second. But we've got aces down here, so we're about to play a big pot down here, two hands in a row. We've got ace four suited in the tournament. Okay, well, we're going to be raising. So payouts. First place is seven dollars and eight cents, and second place is four dollars. So we're gonna be angling for that first place. Not a very good flop down here. Very good flop up here. Go ahead and bet out and take it down. That's pretty, pretty good. We're off to a flying start in this tournament. Wow, he goes ahead and bets the pot. Well, we're going to be getting it in here. We did flop top two pair. Wow, what is happening? I mean, we can't fully have top two pair and aces and a backdoor flush draw. Like, clearly someone has to have a set, right? Which is pretty sad news for us. Uh, wow, we lose. He called a king-queen? What a psycho. God, we get really unlucky, guys. It's tough. It's tough out here. Not gonna lie. We, flop. we have aces, potter, pretty flop. Somebody called us with king, queen. King, queen, eight, nine. And just gets there. And he had flopped a set of jacks. How do we get top two pair? Like... God, I guess we were supposed to, are we supposed to fold there? Like, surely not. Ugh. Let's win this tournament. We're gonna need to win this tournament to get close to even today. We got two pairs somehow, I don't even know how. Oh, Jackson three is okay. Out of there with the king six. God, we've got to be way freaking stuck right now. We got 63.47. So we got 
We do have a third cat. Oh, okay. Now we're playing heads up. Pretty good turn card for us. Questionable river. And we take it down. Hey, that's a big hand. Okay. So as you can see, we got this one guy, one guy left standing between us and the money. We just gotta get knock out this guy that's got a f only a couple chips. Ugh, time banks on here are killer. Two, three, we're definitely re rooting for this guy, and he's gonna take it down. So we're going to make money in this tournament, guaranteed to make, guaranteed to get paid out four dollars after buying in for around two dollars. And we would very much like to uh, make more than that. Flop top pair. Good start. Gonna lead out. Take it down. Nine do suited. We're actually just gonna fold. We won't be folding very many buttons, but that one's so bad. We'll give them the impression that we'll be folding some buttons. Let's see. Very dry flop. We wanted this flop up here. We're going to bet and hope he has no diamonds, because if he doesn't, he'll have to fold. And he clearly has some diamonds. So we're about even in chips. A very reasonable hand down here. We whiff the flop with our very reasonable hand. Got some action on this table. We did take it down. Turn a flush draw. Just call with our ace. We flop a pair. Pretty happy with that. Definitely not folding with our flush draw and our pair of nines here. Definitely not folding after flopping a pair here. We miss our flush draws, we're very sad. We turn a full house. We're not super stoked, he could, he could have an eight. Hey, we take it down over here. And if he, he yeah, we have to call him. Hopefully he doesn't have an eight. Hit pocket sixes! We win the tournament, guys! We won a tournament. You saw us win something on stream or on video. Here we go. Won a tournament. Maybe we need to be playing more tournaments. Whew. We won the tournament. So we get $7. We paid at $2.14 again. We won $7.08. So that's a $5 profit where I come from. Ooh, doggies. We got them. Flop a flush draw over here. Have a very reasonable hand over here. And heads up, hot lemon hall anyway. We get snap called, of course, because how could we not? And now we have a full house, which is pretty interesting. I think we'll be calling a bet here. We're checking it down, and we'll take it down. He had a much better hand than us. But he did not play very aggressively. So we flop top two pair here, and some straight draws. So we're going to go ahead and bet it. That is not the card we wanted to see, although we do have a flush blocker. So we're going to chill a little bit. We still have top two pair. And we're going to call and hope he doesn't have a flush. He had pocket queens, so he had us destroyed the whole way. Let's see how long we've been playing for 34 minutes. Hmm. Let's see. So we have 71, thank god for that tournament win. 71 plus 11 is 82, so we're actually about even on the session, which is pretty depressing given that we won that tournament. 
So yeah, I think we're actually going to uh, wind down this video. Um, it was a little bit on the shorter side. We we're planning on coming back later tonight at I think eight o'clock and playing the uh, five hundred dollar daily five hundred dollar bonanza because I'm sure we've seen fifty flops pretty easily. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be the plan. If you guys uh, like the content, like watching me get super unlucky and all the big pots and winning the sit and go tournaments, which we I guess should be playing more of. Maybe I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, Maybe hit me with a like, and if you're feeling real generous, hit me with a subscribe, and uh, we'll be back after a while with some more uh, more poker gambling. Uh, we flop a full house against one guy, and we're going to be really sad if he just like insta-folds, and he does just insta-fold, so we are very sad. We have three aces up here. That's just the worst aces that you could ever have. This will be our last hand over here. Um, let's see what happens. We're not not super stoked about even playing this hand. Honestly, well, I think it could probably just be a fold, but not heads up. So we're gonna go ahead and bet it. Go ahead and get out of this table. Any calls, which we don't like, and the flop comes all hearts, which we don't really like. We do have one flush blocker. It's a very very tiny one. Okay. Seems like it'd be pretty hard for him to have a flush, but he does have a set, so that's a big yikes. And we're going to be folding over here, and it'll be our last hand, so it looks like we're going to be ending the day with about, yep, right at, right at where we started, about $82. So thank God for that tournament win. It got us back to even, and we're going to be trying to play the daily $500 bonanza at 8 o'clock. And uh, I will see you guys then. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, you are amazing. And thanks for watching.